Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. Uh, I have a Dell laptop here, and uh, the problem I'm going to show you how to fix is if your computer is in what we call a boot loop situation, where you, you're trying to start your computer, but it keeps shutting down and restarting itself over and over. Uh, the same kind of issue that we're going to look how to fix is if your computer gets stuck on the logo screen, if it gets stuck loading with that loading icon, uh, if you see a message that says diagnosing PC and it's just stuck. So, so these issues are all kind of the same fix uh, for this video. Um, so, so those are the issues we're going to be fixing here. These are different issues than if your computer uh, won't start at all uh, or if it shuts down before that logo screen. If it does anything like that, check out video number one in the description below. Um, that will be a, a computer won't turn on fix video. Also, if your computer is turning on, you can hear motherboard clicks, you can hear your fan kick in, but nothing comes on the display. That's a black screen fix. That's video number two in the description below. So we're just dealing with a boot loop situation or if you get stuck any time after that initial logo screen. Uh, that, that you see loading up. Uh, now the first thing you want to do here is uh, hit power, start, start turning your computer on, and start tapping F12 right away. So power, F12. Also if you have any questions or anything, if you get lost in this video at any point, or if you see something that we aren't showing you here, check out the frequently asked questions below. It could save you some time getting an answer. Um, if you need to write me a comment or a question, I try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. So I'll, I'll help you through whatever you're dealing with. So this is the screen we got by hitting F12. I'm going to hit my arrow key down until I get to diagnostics. This is kind of cool about Dell is that it's got built-in diagnostic software. We're going to run that test, see if it can find anything wrong with our computer. So I hit enter. So pre-boot system assessment. So this is going to check uh, a lot of the hardware in our computer to make sure nothing's faulty. This is checking your screen, so hang on a sec. Were color bars displayed, yes or no? Hit the yes. And then it continues on with your test. So down here in the right there's an arrow. I'm going to click on that to show you the actual progress of, of this scan. So this is everything being scanned. If you see on this side of the screen, it'll have a bunch of, of different hardware um, and it'll put green check marks near the parts that are being tested as being working. So it's already tested the LCD, as we've seen. Uh, it just tested the CD-ROM drive. It's tested your USB ports, your video cards. So like everything that's been tested will have a green check mark if it's passed. Um, it's also going to test your RAM, your memory. Uh, also your hard drive, which are often problems with this type of error that we're trying to fix today. So to tell you what can happen, if your hard drive comes in as not installed, if an error message says hard drive not installed, what that means is not reading the hard drive present. So the first thing you want to do to try to fix that is it's possible the hard drive came loose. Maybe your computer was jostled or hit and it came loose. So end the scan, shut it down. Uh, there's a video down below that shows you how to swap out a hard drive in a Dell computer. Um, what that I'll show you how to do is access the hard drive, unplug it, and then plug it back in. Make sure that it's secure and fastened well. Uh, and then try running the scan again. If after that it still says your hard drive is either not installed or it says your hard drive is bad, you would then want to install a, a new one because it either can't read it or, or it's bad. So install a new one, uh, again reference that video how to install a hard drive. After you install the hard drive you'll have to install an operating system onto it um, and, and I'll have that video link in the description as well on, on how to install an operating system into a new hard drive. If you're not seeing anything, oh and, and that goes for anything, if it shows your RAM is being bad, um, replace your RAM too. Um, and, and I'll put a video below in the description on, on how to buy the right RAM for your computer because not all RAM uh, fits everything. Now, if you're not getting any of those error messages and everything's coming back as working, your hard drive, your RAM is coming back good, then that's not the problem. You're going to shut this down um, and we're going to look somewhere else that, that could be the problem. And in, in my experience, this is usually the cause, but the second most likely thing are, 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 are settings and BIOS. 
aborting testing. There we go. Yeah, hard power down. So at this point, we'd want to access BIOS. So hit power. Start tapping F2 this time to get into BIOS. Okay, so here's your BIOS system. Um, first thing you want to check in BIOS is your date and time. Right here, month, day, year, hours, minutes, seconds. Um, if these settings are off, <clears throat> sorry, it can cause all sorts of errors with your computer startup. Uh, so make sure that your date and your time are correct. I have use of my mouse in my BIOS, so I can click over here and then just use my number keys to change it. If you don't have use of your mouse, try your tab key. Um, and if your BIOS doesn't look exactly like this one does, um, just search around a little bit until you find date and time. Now after you've changed those settings, if they're wrong, feel free to go ahead and try restarting, see if that was the problem. If it's not the problem, there are some other things you, you can change. Over here in boot sequence, click on that. Um, make sure over here, these are different areas you can boot off of. Make sure your internal hard drive is top. Um, you want to be booting off of your hard drive, which is where your operating system is stored. And we already ran the scan. If your hard drive is good, it, it, it means that it's possible your computer is trying to boot off of something else instead of your hard drive. So as you can see, my hard drive is rated second. I'm going to hit the arrow key and move it up to first. Um, make sure that your hard drive is being booted off of, of first. Also down here, you see boot list option, legacy and UEFI. Uh, side note, legacy may sometimes be shown as CSM. <clears throat> so you, you may see those options. But try switching between these if simply changing that doesn't work. Long explanation short, whichever one you're on here, legacy or UEFI, that should depend on how your operating system was initially installed, which you often won't know. Um, so just try switching between these. If you're, so right now I'm, I'm on legacy and I can easily switch over to UEFI. Now if you're currently on UEFI and you want to switch to legacy, sometimes you won't be able to, sometimes it'll be grayed out and it won't let you switch. In that case, come back over here, under secure boot, open that up, and then hit secure boot enable. Uh, if you cannot switch over, most likely it's because your secure boot is enabled here. So if it is, uh, just select that top option and disable it. And then under here, advanced boot options, click this, enable legacy option. So make sure that's clicked. And once those two things are changed, uh, then when you go back over to boot sequence, you will be able to uh, click on legacy if you're switching over from UEFI. So those are the changes in BIOS you can make. You would then hit apply and exit. If after the hard drive check it's good, and after you've checked BIOS, it's still not booting up correctly, you're still in the boot loop, you're still stuck on the loading screen, if you're still going wrong at that point, it's most likely the third option, which is an operating system error. Uh, try a factory reset. That'll be in the description down below as well on how to perform a factory reset. If your operating system is so corrupt that a factory reset will not process or it won't go through, then the last option is reinstalling your operating system from scratch, um, which is also gonna be a video link in the description on how to install an operating system fresh. Uh, so after you've gone through all these options, don't worry, you will be able to fix this error. Um, it's either one of those th three things, your hard drive, uh, your BIOS options, or your operating system. Uh, but after you've gone through it, you will be able to fix it, you're all set. Uh, if you got lost anywhere, any questions, again, leave them below in the description. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, like and share if this was helpful. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself repair, uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.